All right, this is Mrs. McCartney, my lovely assistant, Mason. Can you say hi, Mason? Uh, hi. Okay, so I have Zoom downloaded on my desktop, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to delete this one. Oh, there are no people. There's no people, so he's confused. You go to Home, Schedule, and then I'm going to call this Pretend First Day. And then I'm going to set it, you can set it for weird times, like if I want to set it, I think for 11.08, I can set it for 11.08. You just have to type the time. So originally it wasn't working like that, but now it is. Okay, you want to generate automatically. All right, I'm kicking my assistant out. Mwah, go away. You can't go with Mimi. Life with a toddler. Okay, so you want to make yourself a host. So change host to on. I have discovered that this makes sure that the meeting ends and everybody gets kicked out and they can't get back in without you and that you are the only one that can do screen share. Um, and then it's going to try to do Outlook. I think you might be have to be hooked up to the server to do that. I'm going to try that later. So I'm going to hit save. And then all this Outlook stuff is going to come up. Just X out of it. Yes, I'm sure. It doesn't believe me, so do it again. I'm still sure. I'm still super sure. I'm still positive. Somehow it saved it, even though I had to X out of all of that junk. All right, so you're going to want to click Copy Invitation. Now, when you copy the invitation, it does way too much. So actually, you want to do Show Invitation, and then you want to copy just this link right here. Not the Join Zoom meeting, but starting with the HTTPS. And if you need to copy the whole invitation, because maybe the other thing doesn't work, you can do that. Go to a Google Doc, paste it in, and then just delete everything except for the link, which is right there, and delete everything above it. And there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is how I know how to do it right now, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to insert it into my Canvas page. If you have not... This was my um, original Canvas page that I made, and I copied everything over to the uh, HR class in Power School. So if you've not done that, Ms. Webster sent out a video on how to do that. So I'm going to go to my class, and I'm going to click Edit. I'm going to go down to... I'm going to go down to the bottom of my page. I have a Zoom button right here. Then I'm going to go to link URL. I'm going to paste the link in. And then I'm going to click Save. I'm probably also going to go back and put like a gigantic click here for first day of school Zoom meeting just so they can't miss it. Um, but now it links. So this is what should come up for the kids, and then they'll open in the Zoom meeting. Now, I'm going to go back and show you how it's going to look as a host, and I'm going to start the meeting. Now, your kids will not be able to get in there until you hit start the meeting. Now, when you're in the meeting, you're going to join. You can hit mute this way, or there's a shortcut, and you can click or there's a shortcut and you can do alt a to mute yourself so that would be really fun to teach the kids so that would be really fun to teach the kids i'm pretty sure it's 
I'm not sure if it's muting in the video that I'm recording. Um, you can stop your video and you can choose virtual backgrounds, which does not work very well unless you really do have like a green sheet or something behind you. Um, I'm going to hide this. You can go to participants and it'll show who's waiting in the lobby right here. And then it'll show everybody who's in your meeting. You can go over to chat and you can say, hi everyone and send it. I'm pretty sure that there is a way, there's nobody in the room right now, but I'm pretty sure that there is a way that we can teach the kids to only send a message to us instead of the entire chat. Um, then screen share, you can pick what you want to share. There's um, an iPhone, iPad, and I'm going to look more into that, but I think we can basically set that up as a document camera and show the kids how to um, like do a math problem or like write on the iPad or iPhone. There's also a whiteboard. I thought this might be like a fun activity to do for the first day. And maybe we could come up with an activity like we're going to make a picture of a park and everybody like draw something like, so maybe I'll draw the grass and then maybe somebody will draw a tree or whatever. And then we can talk about what we contributed to the drawing just like an icebreaker team building activity. And there's probably a better, more organized way to do that. But that was just the idea that I came up with. So then you can click stop share, go back. Um, I think this is really fun that we can teach them reactions. Like, so a lot of um, the video participation, like they're going to be on mute. And so I think it's important that, you know, oh, like if you agree, thumbs up. And they can do like a thumbs up or like, you know, cheer if you like this idea. I don't know. There's just different ways that we can incorporate this and teach them. Um, or maybe <laughs> if you have to go to the bathroom, they put this up and go <laughs> pee or something. You know, we can figure it out. We're creative. And then um, over on more, you can record and um, you can do breakout rooms. Kevin, Cheryl, and his email said that the breakout rooms don't work on Chromebooks. Also, when we played around with it, um, the teacher cannot see the individual breakout rooms. So that might not be best practices to do as of now. Um, something else that is really fun and I want to incorporate on the first day. They're not created right now, but you can um, go back home and you can create polls. And so we could ask them like, oh, what's your favorite animal? Or like, what's your favorite color? You know, just basic things like that. What device are you on right now? Are you at home or daycare? You know, like some get to know me activities. And then we can see at the end of the meeting, we can see what individual kids put. But um, when they first share, we just see like poll results. Um, and that is also in a video that at the bottom of an email that Kevin Cheryl sent out about Zoom. So overall, that is my brief introduction to Zoom. Oh, last thing. This is really important. When you end, you want to end meeting for all, and that takes everybody out of the meeting, which is good. And I guess I recorded at some point. And it goes to a cloud. So that is it. And then uh, we tested it out. They can't get back in once the meeting has ended.